We hear an audience of nobody. Lovely. Three uh, three restrooms. No line of the snack bar. Yeah, we have an audience of nobody. And why am I here? I'm a nobody. It's true. People think, oh, he must be important. He's got a microphone. Yeah, but uh, when someone's important, they got a microphone that's plugged into this microphone's plugged into the buckus. I got a microphone that's plugged into nothing. But I'm here anyway, so let's talk about some things, shall we? You know, I hate when people. I just hate when people are always finding something good to say about somebody. You know, like, oh, this guy here, he's so good. He he does it. He does that. Like, well, yeah, how about John Wayne Gacy? He killed 33 kids and threw them under his house. Is there anything said about him? And the reply is, well, he wasn't lazy and he was a homeowner. <laughs> true, true. That, that's happened. It's happened to me a lot. I ask people about that. That's their response. It's a wild and a weird world we live in, you know, where people can just say that. But... Freedom of speech. <laughs> I'll ever say whatever they want to say. And like this, everyone who knows me knows I got a mouth that won't shut up. I stop my opinion. I talk about. I talk a big game. I talk a lot of shit. So people say, "Well, Mikey, why don't you ever run for president?" Because I'm not orange. That's why. I'm not orange. And I got big hands. But let's get out of politics. I hate talking about that stuff. That stuff bugs the shit out of me. But I live in West Virginia, you know. Great state, great state. We're, we're, we're a lot better than Virginia. That's why we're West Virginia. But I live in West Virginia, and West Virginia gets a lot of stereotypes, you know. It's like if you live in West Virginia, to anybody else, you're a barefoot, potato sack wearing, uh, sister fucking <laughs> human being. And we just get, just see, we, we always get stereotyped, you know? We get stereotyped just like that. So if I were to pick this up, I would have to do this. Oh, you be lying, I can pull, we go down the car to hell, and I fuck her and her sister, cause they. Oh, I'll fuck my sister good and I'll fuck her all night long. This is what they all think the people in West Virginia do. <laughs> oh, shut up. This is my act, not yours. The guitar thinks he owns the show. And what kind of show is this? It's a shit show. That's what this is, a shit show. You know, that's just what people think in West Virginia. But no, we don't do that. At least not the people around here. I live in the city. Some do, maybe. I don't know. But there's one thing I can promise you. I'll, I'll never do the aristocrat joke. Never. I will never do that joke. Trust me. I don't want to joke about incest and bestiality. Now, if you're guilt for Godfrey, more power to you. More power to you. Bob Saget, more power to you. Betty White, I'll let her do that. She, Betty White can do whatever she wants. Like the, like the aristocrats, you know. Robert, Mikey, didn't you just do a joke over there about incest? Shh. You did not realize. Shh. We have a wonderful audience of nobody out there. A wonderful audience, you know. It's a good thing they're not here because what's funny about a rubber chicken? Nothing. Fuck yes, nada. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> you know that was. The, you know that's actually the same thing that uh, that German prostitute said that my father had sex with uh, about a couple years ago. <gasps> he thought she was doing pretty good because she, 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 she kept going nine, 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 nine. <laughs> thought he was getting straight nine. And really. He couldn't find out she was saying, no, 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 not good, horrible, ugh. All right, he'll be here about five minutes to kill me. <laughs> right, well, I got five minutes till my father comes here to kill me. 
get a repeat of that uh, chainsaw is at Monty's Pizza, New Year's Eve 2000. Good times, good times. <laughs> now this guy here, the best part of the show. Motherfucker's got a constant smile on his face. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. They give the worst kisses ever. It's all teeth, all teeth. We need more, more gum, less teeth, Mr. Smiley. And that's the truth. And you know what else gets on my nerves? Obituaries. They never tell you how the person died. They always leave it up to you to guess. Like uh, Doug West, 53, of Summersville, South Carolina. Died from little little stuck in his ass. <laughs> you know, that would be my best guess for, for uh, if, if a guy named Doug West would die. Yeah, because he had a dildo stuck up his ass. That's my best guess. Because uh, it's like my friend called me the other day and said that her father-in-law passed away. Like, oh, are you okay? He said, oh yes, I'm okay. He was 98 after all. It's not like he, was, not like he died from something. Which leads me to this: if you're gonna die, don't do it of natural causes. Go out with a bang. Do something special. If you're 98, go out and wrestle an alligator. Go out with a story that can be told for the ages. Something that your great grandkids can grow up, can grow up and, and, and learn. That my great grand my great grandfather died wrestling an alligator at 8, 98 years old. He wasn't smart, but he had balls of steel. <laughs> Thank you all. Good night. <laughs>